good morning everyone welcome to our tutorial today we will discuss about how to design coaxial profit or it is also called sma connector in hfss and this connector is very much needed to feed the micro signal properly to your micro strip patch antenna okay let us discuss uh, in detail by using hfss platform the SMA connector we are virtually designing to feed the virtual signal in the simulator. Practically, you can get from the market. See the cross sectional view of the uh, SMA connector is looks like this. Here the outer conductor that is well connected to ground plane, and between the inner conductor and outer conductor we have a white part that is called uh, dielectric spacer, and there is a inner conductor that is from base to connected to patch. This is the how the coaxial connector looks like this if you go to market to buy this it is uh, available like this here you can see the white part is the dielectric spacer and there is a law there is a outer conductor below that and there is a, a inner conductor which is lengthy and if you feed the coaxial pro feed by in the strip then you can go for this type of uh, connector if you want vertical strip feed then you have to go for this one these are all available in the market and uh, when we design in the simulator how these simulator uh, these connectors look like this just see this is the appearance of the uh, SMA connector in simulator let us will design this step by step so here the practical dimension that means ideal dimensions what we are considering for outer conductor the 2.5 mm radius inner conductor we are removing the 2.0125 mm so that you can get the outer conductor like this and we need a inner conductor there is a standard uh, radius for that that is 0.6375 mm we are considering and the length is depends on your strip okay how the patch depends on that you can consider the length let us go for the hfss platform just open it if you have that then you go for hfss insert hfss design so that you can get like this then you can go for there are different options seeds solids and available here it is in the form of cylinder that's why we are taking cylindrical shape we are clicking on that and then you come to the working area and then just drag and drop like this like cylinder it will appear there is no fixed size here because we have placed it somewhere with some uh, dimension now we have to adjust that with the proper material because it is a conductor so we need to have some copper here we are selecting copper and we are naming that one okay so now select copper from the library okay then okay it so you will get like this but uh, here you can allot some any particular color and also you can make that into transparent if you want these are all options available in the HFS simulator now it is not in the center position that's why it is somewhere so now you adjust your x y z coordinates i am taking 0 comma 0 comma 0 so then i'll alert some particular radius as we know standard that is 2.5 mm because it is the outer conductor and height i'll put some 5 mm for some concentration if you click ok then you will get like the structure cylindrical structure which is placed exactly at the center you can see like this okay it is a so it is a solid now i want to make this i want to remove some portion of your internal portion to make this as outer conductor how much i am removing i am removing 2.0125 another cylinder i am taking up radius 2.0125 mm and i am placing inside this like this again i am taking the same material like copper now i am putting the radius at 2.0125 mm so put it properly and then i'll make it okay with the same height length okay 5 mm now see you can see it is appearing inside now i am removing this part from the bigger one first i'll select the bigger one that is outer outside cylinder okay select it okay now along with the control you select the inner then you go for this subtract option it will remove this right now you can find the outer copper conductor now what i have to do i have to fill this some dielectric spacer that's why i am taking again one cylinder which is having the radius of 2.0125 mm select 
not the conductor it is like that it is not a conductor so i am selecting some dielectric material from the library it may be profile like that so just i'll go to library i'll select it right select the substrate material from the library just see click on that material that means first we have to select the uh, cylindrical shape of oh, that dimension that is 2.015 so see i am selecting just wait so now we have to bring that into again at the center by putting 0 comma 0 comma 0 it is just an example i am showing but it should be a proper position in your microstrip patch antenna so now i am putting the radius the same height 5 mm i am taking so now you click ok you'll get that central material okay now it is a simply undefined so i am defining some standard material the dielectric material that's why it is called dielectric spacer you can choose any one which is available like a pro pill and all i am selecting some pre pre spacer like that one subject material you can alert any color and transparency everything now it's look like this so what i have to do i have to place inner conductor now that's why i need to cut this with a radius up or whatever we have the inner conductor just see inner conductor radius is 0.6375 as i am showing above I am selecting that much the cylinder of the same material, same material with the same radius. Okay, now you can find the inner one. There is a same material. Now I am subtracting this from the outer one by using select the bigger one and then along with control you select the small one and go to subtract option. Now you can find just see it is removing. Okay, now I am placing copper rod as an inner conductor for this let us consider another conductor uh, it is just a outer conductor with a dielectric spacer now i am selecting again the cylinder cylindrical structure and uh, i am say, bringing that into xyz by aligning 0, 0, 0 like that copper material that will behave like inner conductor with the proper radius now i am putting name inner conductor like that alerting material copper okay now you bring that into center position that is 0, 0, 0. now you adjust the x y coordinates right okay click on that put it 0, 0, 0. and also and also radius 0 0.6375 i have given in the top side just see that is the standard dimension what we are using in our work so now height is also somewhat bigger that means it is touching this patch you know that's why it is lengthy so it is looking like this just see i am rotating that hmm, see okay this is the the probe huh? quag gel probe or you can call that as a uh, sma connector like this we have to design so then we are going for other parts of the micro strip patch antenna later we'll discuss that i, I hope you followed uh, all these steps uh, you, you have to watch slowly and by enlarging this you can find all the details anyway i am showing above in each and every slide so this is the way we can design coaxial connector or sma connector it is also called once it is ready then you can place it in a proper position to excite the mode again the those process i'll explain step by step i hope you like this uh, uh, discussion if you like it just uh, uh, subscribe anyway to my channel for further videos and also further tutorials regarding antenna we'll be in touch and discuss each and every aspects day by day so i think this will help for the beginners who are in the field of research and also students who are doing project work thank you thank you one and all